everyone my name is shubhranil and in today's lesson we are going to discuss how to <coughs> find out all the uh, primary keys foreign keys referential keys and constraints of a particular um, from a particular column of a particular table of a um, particular schema or user okay so <coughs> suppose you have a user a uh, schema and you want to find out all the constraints all the primary keys unique keys referential constraints <coughs> and you have to list down uh, all of them and it is difficult to find one by one and if you want to create a list so with this tutorial you can uh, make that out so for this uh, task i have taken uh, two views from the uh, so dba from sys sys schema one is all constraints it is a view and one is all cons columns so if we just check out what actually it contains we can see okay these are the fields okay and if you uh, want to <coughs> see the second on on all cons columns i am not going to the sql of the this particular view okay so from this uh, you can see uh, from the all constraints we will take only the constraint type <coughs> which is actually help will help us to find out all the <coughs> constraints in the columns uh, table columns of a particular table okay and from the all cons columns we will take constraint name table name and column name okay you can also specify position but position is not a concern of this tutorial out of the scope so uh, my this is my sql which i am going to write today okay so first time writing select let us take uh, the from first all <coughs> constraints a let us take it a and all cons columns b where we have see we have the common field this constraint name so we will link this two field with this constraint name field okay so where a dot constraint <coughs> name equal to b dot constraint name now we will just go by from the a our all constraint is alias a so we'll take constraint name uh, we will take constraint type so if I, first we will consider the b which is all cons columns and from b we will take b dot constraint name b dot constraint Okay, let us see. Cons. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, first, we will take b dot table name. B dot table name. B dot column name. B dot constraint name, and then <coughs> constraint type. So, to uh, understand the constraint type, we will just write a decode. Uh, call the decode function and check all this say if it is c then <coughs> check constraint if it is p then primary key if it is u then unique key if it is r then reference key if it is uh, say f on string on ref column so i'm not going to explain the <coughs> different type of constraint here okay there are also hash hash expression say we write hash key okay and supplement logging there are also uh, check option for view separately for view 
okay you can put check constraints on view which is uh, indicate or flag dash b so view will like check constraint okay and and i'm not taking s so for others we keep others okay and give it a name as the same constraint alias is also constraint type okay <coughs> so and i'm taking uh, say b dot owner owner is also <coughs> you can also combine this with the uh, as say and b dot owner equal to a dot owner and a dot owner i have a schema here as ckb okay so i'm taking a specific owner you can also delete this and we will say write order by b dot owner comma b dot table name okay <coughs> b dot column name <coughs> So we will run this. We will go to the SQL prompt, and okay, it's not copied. I hope the syntax are correct. <coughs> okay, there is something missing here. Okay. some spelling mistake here okay. so let us make it correct i hope there are no more mistakes <coughs> okay it's not <coughs> coming properly here so i'll go to the pls skill developer and here i have this <coughs> this is the skill statement and Okay, let us copy this from this here. This correct. So I'm copying this. And paste it. Okay, somehow the <coughs> this b dot owner equal to a dot owner is not working. So uh, let us remove this one and add the say a dot owner here. <coughs> okay, we will take the b dot owner. You have to specify the owner if you are not concerned with the specific uh, specific user or schema. So as owner actually uh, has the value of the schema or user you are uh, using. So. <coughs> This is the, I've just commented this, I'm going to remove this and just adding the owner here. So, in executing, okay, same, I just copied this one. Okay, you can see <coughs> the Apex. This is the owner schema here. This is the table, all the table names and constraint name and constraint type is not coming. Okay, let us see what's, what's actually happened with this one. This is actually what we require here. Okay, I've just, okay, my god, I've just not put the constraint exactly the field name here. So, this is my field name. Okay, it is in a a dot constraint type okay so let us make it correct here <coughs> okay the code uh, just started with c but not mention the constraint type here which is actually the field okay so i'll just come back and just execute it again okay i'm with it so let us expand this and just go through this one and see. There's so many constraints. See, there's so many constraints.
Okay, so now uh, I'll just uh, find out for one, say p dot owner equal to system. Okay, so p dot owner equal to system. I'll just uh, okay and p dot owner equal to system. Uh, what happened? Okay, I just put it in before after order by. So uh, let us put it here and we got our computer system. I'm going to see the administrative database, all the constraints and primary key, unit key, check constraint, everything it's had. So if you want to <coughs> find out the table type and all that, you can also use uh, all tab, all tables or all tab column. With something like that okay so see in system you have see these are all this is a constant name this is a column name this is the <coughs> this is a table name okay so if you do this in your own particular schema uh, and you want to find out your all your constraint primary key check constraint everything so you can find it and you can also there are also so if you go through this uh, tables you can see uh, suppose uh, we open this one okay we well, don't need we can describe the table see there is a uh, field called search condition so what will happen if we put the search condition here say all constraint is the a so i'll just put here here a dot search condition okay so just copy this and paste it here so I put a search condition VC instead of search condition because such condition is giving a long field okay so we have to just browse into this okay i can show you here okay suppose i put a such condition here and instead of uh, yeah, with the search condition now this happens in a pale scale developer but if you see in the uh, sql prompt such condition returns the uh, uh, constraint uh, constraint okay so call name is not null or obj hash is not null see here it is giving long and if you click on this uh, you can find agent name is not null okay so that's why i have given search condition underscore vc which will give you the concept in, in case of state check constraint you will have this search condition here okay so you will also find the search condition which is what is given here so if you just go to the check constraint okay you will see there and see disabled in t and f okay true or false so something like that so these are very effective and utility utility pro uh, scale command uh, scale statement which uh, by which you can just sit back and relax and find out all the constraints uh, and in your database okay referential integrity primary key and you don't have to jump and browse through each and every tables and find out so <clears throat> you can also make an excel sheet out of this okay if you use PLSQL developer you can just export this or copy to excel okay so that's all about this tutorial uh, I, I just uh, tried attempted to make something very useful which will be useful for specific oracle developer and database developer okay so i hope you like it if you like it please do press the like button you can also subscribe to my channel that is scbhro190776 okay thank you very much